Hey everyone, today I just wanted to quickly show you the best text-to-speech model that's not proprietary. It's called Kokoro, and here's a quick little snippet. Kokoro is an open-weight TTS model with 82 million parameters. Despite its lightweight architecture, it delivers comparable quality to larger models. So it sounds pretty amazing. Before we get into code, I just wanted to show you how I found this model and how I can claim that it's one of the best. So if you're not familiar, Hugging Face tends to have these leaderboard spaces. These are community made. So take that with a grain of salt. There's no official evaluation, but I think a community led voting works really well. So as you go down this leaderboard, you have min max speech, 11 labs. And if you keep going down, you'll see these all have this proprietary model. And frankly, I'm not interested in playing with proprietary models right now. They just get expensive fast. So the top one is Kokoro V10. This is the highest model that does not have this proprietary. Obviously there's Cozy Voice, and as you go deeper into this leaderboard, you'll probably find others as well. But this was the first one I landed on, and frankly, I'm pretty impressed. So they are open source, everything's on GitHub, uh, as well as some good, this is actually the code snippet we're gonna be working with. And I wanted to show you how to quickly get it working. So let's create a new Python project. I'm going to call mine Kokoro test. We'll go on a Kokoro test. I'm going to be using UV. Or you can use pip or whatever other Python package manager you want. And we'll do UV add Kokoro. Okay, that should be it. Let's go ahead. I'm going to just rename this into main. And then we'll go into their main.py and we'll try and run this. UV run main. Look at that. Yep. Now we have it. Kokoro is an open weight TTS. So what we're seeing here is it's generating this text. So it's creating a pipeline, which I'm going to go a little deeper in. This is how you define the language. And then it's, it has this interesting syntax to help it better. I think say the word. So let's just try like Kokoro. We'll run it again, and let's see how this one sounds. Kokoro is an open weight TTS model. So you see, you can define the explicit way to say or pronounce words that might be difficult. So anyways, we can just go ahead and say, hey, subscribe now. Run this again. Hey, subscribe now. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. But what if we want to do Spanish? Hola, como estas? You're going to notice this actually sounds horrible. Hola, como estas? Como estas? So the reason that's happening is because of this language code, as well as the voice. So the voice, they have language-specific voices, and you also have to be explicit about your language code. So if you go into their hugging face docs, these, tend to, these actually are... Bit more, there's a bit more going on here versus their GitHub docs. You can scroll down and you'll see voices. Now in voices, you can actually see all of the different voices they support. So at the moment, there are these different types of English, Japanese, Chinese, Spanish, French, Hindi, Italian, Brazilian, Portuguese. There's a bit more interesting stuff here, but if you scroll a bit further, you'll notice this is for American English. Here's the language code, A, for American English, as well as all the American English languages, as well as they actually have a grading system, which is cool. But what we want is Spanish. So let's click in. So language code is E. We'll go ahead and change here. But then we also need the language name. So let's just go ahead and use Dora. Seems like they're prefixing the voice with the code, so that should help better organize and understand what you're using. We're gonna go ahead and just generate this again, and let's hear it now. Hola, como estas? Yeah, sounds a bit more authentic. Anyways, hope you learned something, and see you in the next one.